Hey guys, Victor V5 here. I am checking out some new lighting styles that I have been trying out, and I thought I would bring you along and check them out with me and see what you guys think. Um, I always love using the nether brick fence for lighting. I think it, I don't know, the wooden fence, maybe I'm just tired of seeing it so much because I've seen it all before as i'm sure a lot of you guys have as well uh so i've been using a lot of nether brick i think it looks amazing it has a more refined look it's not that broken up color it's one solid color uh here's one i started using i kind of like it. it has kind of a devilish pitchfork feel two layers of brick together um looks pretty good Another one I was checking out, and I need, yes, stairs for this. Uh, if you take two steps, put them back to back, and you put fences on top, yeah, yeah. Um, there's no space between. It's a little offset, but that doesn't bother me too much. And then you take your glowstone, which is right here. And you put your glowstone on top of that. That's a nice light right there. I really like that one. That has a good look to it. A real good look. I like that one. Now, um, another one thinking of this using the stairs. Because I like using the stairs as many ways possible. And again, you know, I'm playing on Xbox right now. So there's some frustrations with placing stairs in the right way upside down. Uh, so we have to work some things out. Hello, do I have a friend? Oh, hello friend, how are you? So we have to work some things out. So I'm making a frame to place these stairs. All this for one light is a lot, but I think it looks really good. I've used this before on chimneys and things, um, but um, I think it looks pretty good. Um, get a save here before that zombie comes over. But yeah, you just got to be creative with this game. Use your blocks in different ways. You got to try things out. Planning is a big part, I think. Um, practicing. You know, as an artist, you have to practice all the time, and it's. Um, it takes trying new techniques and new things and thinking differently um, and thinking outside the block. Ooh, write that down. That's a good one. <laughs> so if you look at that one, I use this technique for chimneys. As you can see, smoke rises out of that. That looks pretty cool. It kind of blocks it too much, though. So if we... Yeah, there we go. I like that. That's nice have that effect around your fire that's a good look that's a real good look also a couple I wanted to show you that I thought were amazing were these um, floating balloons if you've ever um, seen the Asian lantern ceremony where they light candles in uh, balloons and let them float away that's kind of what this looks like um, Looks like these balloons are floating around. I'll show you how to make this. Super simple. Two half slabs, glowstone, make a pillar of whatever size you want. Put your glowstone down. Grab your slab on top. Take the bottom one out. Get a bottom slab. Then take your stack out and it makes a nice floating lantern. Really mystical looking. Really nice, I think. I really like that. All right, now here's the one that's going to blow your mind, is this one here, my Starlights. I have not seen anybody do this, but I think this is amazing. I mean, look at that. Look at that glowing. Now, it's really not great for on the ground because, as you can see, that creeper's just like, hey, that's no light, so great. But, um, and it's hard to make. You got that lava block in the middle there. <laughs> it's a little dangerous. Somebody could shoot that out, which, hey, that's a good trap. I'm about to do that. Uh, but you kind of do it the same way. Um, you make your pillar, and you grab your glass, and you use a 
block to build a square. I like using block. You could use glass too, but it's just so hard to take the right one out. Then grab your glass panes again. Got to use the panes because they make that cool star pattern. Without that, it really doesn't work. Put your lava block right in the middle. Okay. Place your another block on another side. Put the pane on the glowstone or on whatever random block. And you have to be very careful to take these out. Make sure you're taking out the right ones because if you take out that bottom one by accident, game over. <laughs> and then take out the remaining, remaining, remaining blocks and step back and take a look at that. I love that. I think that looks amazing. Imagine having 10, 20 of those floating across this valley here. That's amazing. So, just some ideas for you to think about, some things to try on your own. Um, I hope you like this. Go ahead and give me a subscribe if you think this is a good episode. And this is Victory V5, and I will see you next time.